April 1865, a country barely recovering from death on an unimaginable scale is now plunged into a new type of mourning. Just as the guns were falling silent on four years of civil war, the man who had held the country together through that war has been felled in his hour of triumph by an assassin's bullet. During his four years in the White House, the United States had been changed forever. Despite being torn by secession and civil war, it was a single country again, and slavery, the ultimate cause of the war, had been banished into memory. Now Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president, had joined 620,000 of his countrymen as a victim of the war. As his funeral train approached Springfield, Illinois, it was completing a great American journey, one that had begun in complete obscurity.